The direct radio voice method looks to gain spirit communication via the loudspeaker of radios that are tuned away from station frequencies. This then results in a reduction of false positives by stray radio signals if set up correctly. As many of you know, I've already proved to myself on a subjective level that we are, in fact, communicating with non-physical sources while using ITC techniques, such as scanning equipment and random noise generators. However, I am extremely interested in the work of Marcello Bacci of Grosseto, Italy. Bacci is one of the few spirit communicators who has been extensively tested over the years by scientists and sceptics alike. Whether cynics of ITC like it or not, no satisfactory explanation has ever been brought forward that is credible to explain how these direct voices were communicating under our current understanding of reality. Marcello Bacci amazes visitors and scientific investigators who say they can hear the dead speaking through his old vacuum tube radio. This extremely rare form of mediumship is also called direct radio voice, or DRV, But are these radio voices just a clever hoax? Not according to scientists who have subjected Bacci's mediumship to a battery of tests. One of the leading Italian investigators is Paolo Pressi, and his colleagues from Il Laboratorio, an organization that uses the most stringent methods of science to investigate paranormal claims. Using software endorsed by the FBI, Il Laboratorio have conducted voice print analysis. Like a fingerprint, a voice print is unique. It can therefore be used to determine someone's identity with near certainty. They compared voice prints from two audio samples. One was the voice of Shiara Lenzi, recorded before she died. The other came out of Bacci's radio after her death and was clearly recognised by her father. The comparison produced a 97% match. Despite this startling evidence, sceptics claim that the voices could be fake. But Dr. Emmanuel Toriello, who has been investigating Bacci for decades, believes this is impossible. Dr. Toriello was present during key scientific experiments that he says eliminated any possibility of remote transmission. One of the first of these experiments involved putting Bacci's radio inside a special device that shields it from all radio signals. Yet still, the voices continued. We couldn't be more excited. Second point, 
the radio was switched off. And though the voices were going through. The third and main point that the tube or the valves of the radio were totally removed. Still the voice were going through. Guys, look at this radio reading on the EMF meter. It's going crazy until I pick up and move it. 26.9 milligos. This could be interesting. We found that during paranormal investigations that an increase in EMF, electromagnetic field, usually results in strange activity occurring in the surrounding environment. We sometimes even boost the environment with devices capable of high EM outputs. This is in the hope that any non-physical energies can use this to assist in spirit communication or activity. We monitor both natural occurring fluctuations and above baseline fluctuations that may be a precursor to possible activity. We will at times ask non-physical energies to spike or manipulate these fields in the hope of recording the communication for validation. <laughs> 